Good morning, <gasps> Charizard. Looks like we might be due for a big old storm of chaos. <laughs> has already been a very productive morning usual i was at my kids' gymnastics doing absolutely nothing i was on facebook just scrolling away you know just scrolling 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 oh oh marketplace scroll 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 and scroll 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 and oh wait hold on what's this ah oh, reproductions dumb then i saw this post for a yard sale i clicked on it and i was like oh interesting scroll down a bit Oh, it's not too far. Oh, wait, what? What? Does this say video games and accessories? Okay, okay. Where are they? Uh, I see a Wii. Oh, I see something in there. I, uh, 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 cards. I don't care about cards. Where's the games? Where's the games? Rocks. I don't care. So I went with the good old try hard move. I messaged them directly. I was like, hey. My name is Shane, and I own Level Up Video Games, a retro video game store here in Chico. And I just saw your yard sale post and was interested in what kind of video games you were looking at to sell. They hit me back with Sims 3 for PC, My Sims Wii DS, Road to Knoxville PS2, World of Outlaws, Hotel for Dogs on the Wii's, Friend Game for the PS2, Castlevania, Red Dead, Redemption, and they're a buck to five bucks. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks for the response. How much are you asking for that Castlevania game? I'm thinking three dollars and fifty cents. Great. Is there any way I can hold you can hold it for me? I'll probably swing by around eight ish before I uh, I need to open the store. Sure thing. I was like, thanks. Thumbs up. That was the best stop I've had in a while. And I've only went to a couple yard sales. And now I got that yard sale. Mmm, hustle in my blood now. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe on Friday and Saturdays, instead of going to Goodwill and wasting our time with Goodwill, which you can't find some stuff, but maybe we'll go out and yard sale hustle and find some video games. Let me show you what I ended up picking up today. And it wasn't just Castlevania. And even the Castlevania was uh, a little surprising. Here, normally don't pick up pops, but I saw this one. This is the Blizzard exclusive diva so this is like a metallic figure and then the diva and then we just picked some other random pops up i'm not a pop person this store doesn't have pops it has action figures but it doesn't deal with pops to look it up and the blizzard one goes for around 30 35 so i was like you know what i'll just throw it in a pile and see what they were looking for um if it's a little too much i probably won't pick it up and then there's more. Pops actually just might go up to Travis. He's been dealing with Pops a little bit more. So I might have him take a crack, see what he can give me for this. And I don't know, maybe he'll pay for the whole lot. We got these guys. My Sims Kingdom. It's not complete. Doesn't have the manual, but it does have the game. Then we got My Sims for the DS. My Sims Racing and My Sims for the Wii. A hotel for Dogs. Unfortunately, I picked this one up. Just because it's, I've never seen it, guys. I've never seen Hotel for Dogs on the Wii. But when I opened it, I was like, wait a minute. That's a DVD. Dang it. I didn't even get the game. So I don't have the game. This is just case. And then we could talk about the Castlevania. So this was the initial interest. And these goes for about 10 to 15 bucks. So I was already happy at 350. I was gonna pay it anyways. When I got there, she pulled it out. Brand new, it's factory sealed. I was like, okay, well, wasn't expecting that. And then I was digging through the boxes, went with these, tried to bundle some stuff up because, oh, what? Yeah, she had Golden Sun on the DS, Dark Dawn, complete. And I was like, okay, okay, all right. Okay, we gotta slow down. And then I saw Yakuza disc only. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw these Pokemon things. I was like, I gotta grab those. And she had this uh, Wiimote too. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. I gotta slow down. Grabbing stuff at this point. I was just grabbing everything I saw. As soon as I saw it, I was like, let's try to make a deal on it. And of course I did. But then I just opened up that Yakuza to take a look at it. There's more in there. I have no clue what's in it. Let's find out. Wiimote, I ended up getting it for free because 
the battery is corroded inside of it. So it's leaving white dust all over the place. Ugh. Let's see what else is in this disc only. We got Yakuza. What? Wow. Did we get a sealed Castlevania? We got a Golden Sun and two disc only. They're decent games. This was, I, I can't beat it. Some fresh batteries in that remote. I'll clean it up a little bit more, but it's working for today. We had three repairs, got all three of them done. Didn't record them. They were just, I need to get them done ASAP since today is uh, kind of the tail end of the, the week. But I essentially got a switch light done with the Joy-Con. We have a cleaning for a PS2, which is fairly easy. And then we had an interesting one where the card reader on a Nintendo Switch wasn't working properly. And um, seeing them like this. So they have the, the board cartridge readers soldered on it already. So I was like, oh yeah, we bought a replacement. And I was like, oh really? I was like, would you, what? What is this? This is literally just the card replacement. So I would have to desolder all this, desolder that, 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 which I, I could, but then I'd have to resolder all this. I was like, guys, this is already quick connect. Like just, I don't, I've never, would I would never tell someone to buy one of these. There's absolutely no way I'm taking the time to desolder and solder that. I was like, maybe if I needed one, but in general, I'll just order these. Um, there's no way. That's insane. Actually, you could just screw up the freaking whole entire motherboard just desoldering it. I mean, I could probably do it. I mean, I'm, I'm that good, but I definitely don't want to. Here's everything. We literally did not print any labels out. We we kind of got swamped and a uh, couple Super Nintendos I had. This one has waves in it, which is going to be interesting to look at, which I didn't even notice. So we got, we got a lot going on, um, as always. Shout out to Charles. He ended up picking up Scarface for the PS2 Complete for 40 plus shipping on top. Um, again, if you guys haven't checked out the website down below, take a look, levelupvideogames.com. You can see everything right behind me in stock. And it's constantly changing and updating. Actually done for the day. I'm out of here. It's hot. I got to figure out how to cool this place down. Um, without water or an AC or something, just to make it manageable. Um, because a hundred and something degrees sucks and it's uncomfortable out here, especially for customers. They don't want to stay very long and they don't want to even want to look around or everything, which is probably the drawback about being in a garage that's not insulated and ready to go. Um, and I, I don't own this place, so I'm, I'm definitely not going to invest in insulation ac and like turn it into a, a a complete place right now um later down the road if push comes to shove so we'll see keep tuned you'll see how this place grows it's not going to be just me processing games all the time i do have a couple stuff coming so stay tuned I'm trying to organize this a little bit maybe some of the glass case stuff i've seen some decent glass like shelving too far about two hours drive for me they have two ones they have a decent price on them but i don't know how much it's going to be if a u-haul to get those things it's going to cost me like almost like 600 bucks yeah that's a lot of money huh that's a lot of money yeah yeah catch you guys next time don't forget to